The rivers, streams and brooks of Britain are home to a treasure trove of natural history. Most animals you find there are minute, like the insects and invertebrates scurrying around my boots at the moment. Some make their living above the water's surface, like the kingfishers and the otters, for example. But I think perhaps the most intriguing animals are those that actually everyone would associate with this aquatic realm. They are, of course, the fish, and for the most part, they're very well known. Carp, roach, pike, chub, etc. But there is one species, my particular favourite, that would be on very few people's list of freshwater fishes. But it has a conservation society and some people devote their life to it. It is lovingly and affectionately known as the Lady of the Stream. And I'm hoping to find one just around the bend here. Ahead of me and around me is a pool that I hope will contain the species I'd like to show you today. But to do that, I'm going to need one of these. And here it is, the object of our desires. It is, of course, the grayling. Look at that, what a beautiful animal. Those speckles on the sides, and then that huge dorsal fin with the red, uh, red fringe to it, stripes going up. It's a super animal. And you know what's really interesting about this creature is it's, uh, it's a barometer species. It can tell us the health or degradation of, a, of an ecosystem, in this case, a river or a small river, a stream, it can tell us whether that's healthy or not because grayling can only survive in uh, clear, fresh and unpolluted water. So where you find grayling, you're gonna find a healthy ecosystem for all species. And I'm just so really very happy that we found one right here. Let's let the lady of the stream go back to her ball. <laughs> 